What's going on, guys? And welcome to what I like to call Friday Night Figs or Effin' Figs. Now, in this series, I'll be going over third party companies like Brick Mania, Force Moon Bricks, and other companies like that. I'll be going over the minifigures and the details or the evolution of the figures, just going over what details I like and dislike. And to kick things off, we're going to start with Brick Mania's Modern Day Marines and the evolution of that figure. So as you can see, these minifigures are portraying the Marines using their utility uniforms. They're just a standard uniform that we use every single day, but they're in our desert utilities. Now we do use the Gen 2 and phasing out to Gen 3 plate carriers, but in these minifigures you can see that they are wearing the Gen 2 plate carrier as well as the magazine pouches or not the standard, but definitely Marines use them because they're easier to pull the magazines out. They're open top with a bungee cord and definitely very useful. Now, not all Marines will have or be issued a sidearm, but this minifigure is portraying them having a standard issue M9 service pistol. So as you can see on the figure on the left, he has the old standard IFAC or individual first aid kit. Now that we use for if we sustain a wound, we can patch ourselves up or have a buddy patch us up before the doc is able to come help us out. Definitely as this being the first modern Marine figure that I've seen that is really detailed, I really enjoy it. And personally, I have about 40 or so of these version ones on hand. Now, as we look at the back of the minifigure, he has nothing on the back of his plate carrier. Usually we'll have a hydration pouch on the back. Now these figures do also have the MHC or modern combat helmet. Definitely adding the minifig cat goggle covers is definitely a nice detail to the top. So as you can see, when you remove the minifig cat goggle covers, you have the standard cloth cover for the modern combat helmet, where it can be swapped to be using the woodland camouflage, as you'll see in the later figure. Now the next figure did come out the same time as the version 1, just a little bit later, and it was a kit exclusive. So this figure is representing what would be recon figure, or the reconnaissance battalions we have. This figure is using the woodland Marpat uniform. Form and definitely is, has a lot more gear. Now this comes in the Brick Mania's CH-53E Super Stallion kit. And I definitely enjoy this figure as it's one of my favorite figures. As you can see, he has the standard magazine pouches, but open with the flaps tucked in behind the magazines, as well as fast pull magazine attachments. Definitely it helps when pulling out the magazines from the pouches, especially if he has the new P mags. They're definitely hard to pull out of the old magazine pouch. Now compared to the version one of the modern day Marine figure, he has a different setup than the version one and has a lot more gear. As you can see on his right leg, he has still a pistol holster, but also has a knee pad as well as a harness for when he is repelling or fast roping from the helicopter. As you can also see on the front of his plate carry, you can be able to see that he has a carabiner on his left shoulder and on the right he has a mic for his radio that goes to the back of his plate carry. On the back of his uniform for the CH-53 minifigure, he has the camelback or version of the camelback we use or be issued. Also on the left side of his plate carry, he has a radio pouch so that way he has comms, coordinate, rays on boats or into buildings like that, which recon usually does. Now, as you can see, compared to the version one, he has, again, another drop down pouch that has two smoke grenades. And on the left side of his plate carrier, he has two grenade pouches. Enjoy that little detail to make it very unique. And as it is a kit exclusive minifigure. As you also can see, the helmets are different as version one is representing the MCH or modern combat helmet and the CH-53 figure is representing the Mitch helmet or what Recon would be using at the time. Definitely a different setup than what a standard Marine would be using. But I, overall, I definitely enjoy both figures and the CH-53 figure is one of my favorites. Now, most of you will notice that the minifigure in the middle is Shy from Shy Time is My Time. He, as well as the major figure on the right, are both kit exclusive to the MTVR and the M777 that came out 
last year. And you'll notice that the uniforms are different. Whereas Shai's figure is wearing the frog or fire resistant uniform compared to version one, which is using the utility or standard uniform we have. Now I'm definitely really glad that Lando has improved because he has definitely improved from version one to Shai's figure with the details and the lines and, and the shading of everything. I truly enjoy the overall figures and definitely the details and updates. As you'll notice, the detail has definitely gotten a lot better from version one to these figures. The lines are definitely a lot thinner as they were thick on the version one and definitely detail has gotten a lot better. As you'll notice, Shy's figure has the camelback that I was talking about earlier. That is standard issue for all Marines. As you'll see, the detail from the version 1 figure compared to the figure on the right of Shy's figure, you'll see that the lines are definitely a lot more detailed and thinner and definitely a lot more accurate to our plate carriers that we use. As you can see, the uniforms are definitely different because the utility uniforms, our blouses, go over our belts, whereas frogs, we tuck them in and our belts are shown. As you will also notice that the detail on the helmets are different. They're still representing the MCH, but the detail has been drastically updated as the version one represents the helmet in 2018, whereas the helmet with Shai's figure and the figure to the right have a lot more detail. They have more lines to show the pattern in the cloth that we would have on those helmets. As well as the NVG mount is definitely a lot more detailed compared to version one. Now these figures are from December, 2021, and definitely the details completely different than version one as it's been heavily updated. Now I did help and give Lando a lot of references and helped him with the detail. Now this figure is the version two modern day infantry marine and definitely the detail is amazing. Lando definitely stepped it up on his artwork with the lines and everything and definitely has gotten a lot more detail. I definitely try to help Lando with reference photos of the gear and give him pointers on the on everything we use such as the frogs that you see the minifigure wearing as well as the plate carrier version 3 or gen 3 and the new helmet that we are issued which is the ECH. This figure definitely has a lot more detail as you can see with the plate carriers having thinner lines or a mixture of thin and thick lines, as well as you can see it has the proper loadout. Now you can see in the front, he has three mag pouches, which is standard for Marines, as well as two grenade pouches. And with my plate carrier, I had a carabiner, as well as the hydration hose. As you can see on this figure, he has the new IFAC were issued or individual first aid kit and a tourniquet, as well as on his frogs, he has the standard pocket and a small pocket which is kind of like an easter egg if you don't know about frogs. The frogs do have a small pocket on the bottom of the uniform and usually marines put dip or cigarettes or lighters or everything, anything they can put in it just so they can have it in the field. As we go to the back of the minifigure you can see that he has the same or very similar hydration pouch as Shai's figure did. Now there was supposed to be a small Easter egg. It was going to be Joe Schmuckatelli on the back of the identification patch that'd be on the back of the plate carrier, but that did miss the printing, unfortunately. As you'll see on the right side of the figure, there is the drop pouch where we put magazines or even if you've seen photos of puppies in it, definitely Marines will put anything and everything they can extra magazines or empty magazines when they're out in combat or training. Now with these figures, they came with a different helmet because the MCH is completely different than the ECH. These helmets are also 3D resin printed and they came out very nicely. I truly enjoy the 3D resin products that Brickmania has came out with and they truly are definitely amazing detail. It definitely shows the ability to change the woodland camo to a desert camo. Definitely nice detail with the strap on the top as well as the NVG mount. It's definitely a lot of detail. With these figures side by side you can definitely see the difference and change as well as the detail that Lando put in both of them and definitely the skill that he's in, improved on with both figures from version one to version two. I truly enjoy both figures as 
now the version two is going to be one of my favorites. With putting these figures side by side, you can definitely see the difference in detail from 2018 to 2021. I truly enjoy both figures as the detail is amazing on both. As the woodland one from CH53 kit is amazing. And as and the version two is definitely now going to be my favorite. I truly enjoy what Lando has came out with. If you made it this far, definitely let me know if you like the video and what I can improve on and what would you like to see in the video. And if you do like it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down and comment below or even DM me and let me know what I can do to improve it. But this is going to be a first of many videos in this series. So definitely look out for these videos.